guys welcome uh, it's your first morning out we are bright and early we are hoping we can uh, beat the heat of the day and we've come out to a beautiful viewpoint and this morning we're going to look for basically any of your target species being kudu, impala, warthog and I'd like to show you even some bushbuck things like that but it's what I'd like you to experience as a first morning to wake up to Africa to listen to the beautiful sounds that comes with it and uh, the views will only get better as the day goes but it's a good start and hopefully we'll have a wonderful week together oh yeah, that's yeah. we've left Ken up much higher so he can see more of the valley across from us he's seen a big valley so him seems good so what I want us to do is hike out of here quietly get to the top and put the spotting scope on him and see if it's the same being I'm looking for but it's, it's in the right area, it's the right territory so let's head up as far as we can and see what we can find if you look across the way from us you see there's like a, a yellow red line of grass just above the bush line yeah. go up to the next lot of bushes you'll see me feeding in between there man <laughs> what I'm talking about eh? all day fighting the fight and that my friend is a pig that is a proper pig that's what we came here for yeah eh? what a shot congratulations your first first African animal and you had said to me a warthog is important to you yes. and I'll tell you what we've got ourselves a boss of really a wonderful wonderful warthog uh, a gnarly old pig, a clever pig. He's had us. We've, we've been doing the run around all morning after him. He went and bedded up. We came back this afternoon and we made it down. We hunted hard all day, and this is the kind of pig you wait for. This is what you work for. Um, a pig in this class, he's a, he's a 10, 12 year old pig. They really grow slow, they live very long. And what I like about this guy, he's even broken off Mustachia. 
which yeah. is really nice. But to get that dust there and that character, he's just a good old pig. Really, really nice. And um, these warts here that are nice and big, what I was looking for earlier today when we, when we saw that sow come out, at first why I wasn't uh, convinced because I didn't see the dark uh, lines here below the eyes and they've got a scent gland that excretes that and, and we didn't see much of that, you know. Do these grow with age too? The what? I, I, you know what, they, obviously the bigger the pig gets, the bigger they get, but yeah. the theory behind that is those are so the pig knows what hole he can fit into. Oh, you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. So he reverses down. You'll see this is just the outside width of the body. Yeah. You understand? So a pig will always reverse into a hole. And this year, he, if he feels that, that, that hole's too tight, he finds another burrow. Oh. You with me? But the purest form of ivory you can get, this is the finer grain ivory than elephant ivory. Oh, wow. Yeah, people don't really realize that, but this is proper ivory. away from us here we've spotted a nice guru bull but it's now already nearly 10 past six so i don't want to pursue him now i'd rather say you know where he is we call it a day tomorrow morning we come back if we had an hour of light i'd say let's go let's go hard but right now i think we're pushing it he's happy he doesn't know we're here we'll back out of here come back first thing in the morning let's go okay but i'm gonna have, i want to just show you he's in put him in the scope he's a really good bull Bad start, Jeff. coming in what I want to do is I want us to go back or go around get on below the valley below him and see if we can shoot up onto him okay what what is in our favor quiet morning but there is a little bit of rain so the guru don't want to move too much so if we can take the next hour or so go and get into position we should get ourselves a shot okay let's Remember, I was telling you guys, one of my most important trees here is the speckbrook, what you guys call the bacon tree. Mm -hmm. And this year is what the kudu are after. So this area we're hunting here, this is what they're feeding on. Let him go because where he is, we don't have a good angle. 
Down. Holy shit. Oh, oh my gosh. Thank you, Carl. Damn, that's awesome. <sighs> that was awesome. Yeah. That was awesome. Well, you day two in Africa. We have been playing cat and mouse since <laughs> last night with a bull. We found another bull this morning. We really liked it. We've been playing cat and mouse, we've had rain, we've had mist coming, and you just made the shot of your life. Oh, with your help. No, Thank you. you still had to pull it off. I mean, just finding him was hard, but he dropped right there. I haven't seen movement again, but neither can I see him, but where he's falling, it's in some brush. But I'm gonna see, it's gonna give him about five, 10 minutes before we start moving. Look at this, guys. Hey, good dog, Flash. Good dog. Hey, it's nature's magnificent. A massive, massive congrats. Yeah, it is beautiful. Hey, isn't this just the most magnificent animal you've ever seen? And coupled with an experience that you will not read of easily. All morning. He's got that beautiful ridge, dark nose, he's got that Roman nose, mature bull. But what's what we want are these tips that come up forward like that. That that's the sign of a mature bull. But he is just perfect. That was freaking awesome. Awesome. 450 yards? 450 yards is not the kind of shot I would ever expect anybody to make. But uh, the lady looked at me when I said to her. It's standing B and she said, I got it. And uh, I've come to learn. When a lady <laughs> says she's got it, she's got it. And yeah, we got it. Oh. Unbelievable, Kuru. You can be very proud. I'm yeah. certainly very, very proud of you. Proud. And yeah, this is something I think that will live on in your memory for you. Yes, absolutely. Fantastic. Congratulations. Eh? so different to every other time we've gone out we're up on the plains you haven't seen this kind of terrain completely open we've left the kudu we've left the warthog and things like that and 
we are to the Great Plains. We're going to go after some black wildebeest, blaze spark, springbuck, things like that today. Um, but this is what we've been looking at the whole time. You guys yeah. keep, keep yeah. telling us back home in Texas you've got small little termite mines, but out here they're a bit bigger. But uh, luckily these are the grass-eating termites, so they don't attack all our wooden furniture and stuff. It just They do a hell of a good job for the soil. They're aerated. And, and what's the most interesting about this, what you see is one-third, two-thirds of that colony is under the ground. Oh, wow. Yeah. Massive. Collective power of work, eh? Yeah. Lots of, lots of small efforts make a big effort. What a shot. What a <laughs> shot. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> you can see he expired properly. Yes. Very, very oh, nice very wildebeest good. partner. Magnificent animal. Really, really nice. Nice, heavy bosses. He's got a good drop. He's got a hook coming up. And an absolutely textbook perfect, perfect shot. Very, very nice shot. And these these guys, obviously, they look a lot bigger out there when you get closer. Yeah. They get a little bit smaller on you because of the mane on the back here, the yeah. hair. Lots of hair on the nose, under the chin, on the chest. But a, yeah, a charismatic animal. Yes. Um, entertaining animal to watch. Very nice. And um, one of the... One of the most interesting things about this bull is that these wildebeest were at the point of absolute near extinction. I mean, beyond endangered. And a small group of farmers brought them back. With it. They, they, were, they were believed to carry a disease called mucus sickness, not sickness. And that disease kills cattle, yet they're the carriers. Oh. Okay, and it's now believed that it's actually the blue wildebeest, not the black wildebeest. But back then they believed it was the black wildebeest. Oh, okay. They wiped them out in thousands. And in the end, there was under 30 left, and a couple of farmers looked after them. There was, they kind of created a bit of a reserve for them, and today they've bred up to thousands again. I mean, there's north of 15,000 in the East Cape alone, yeah. you know, and uh, so their numbers are prolific. They do very well, and Hunter's Dollars really has looked after them. If it wasn't for that, they wouldn't have come back in those fantastic numbers. So today, it's a species that's readily available, and all thanks to Hunter's and our continued efforts with conservation. And thank you for your part you've played with us. Yes. yes. This is my pleasure. That tail is very unique. I like that. Very, very unique. Absolutely. Oh, we've obviously spotted some impala from up high. And they kind of feeding up ahead in like open brush. What we're gonna do, we're just gonna go slowly all along this wooded section and hopefully get onto them. And Paul are some of my most wide awake animals out of all the African games, so be careful where you walk. We'll just meander slowly and see what we can see. It's a nice big bachelor group. So I think there'll be a good ram in there. The guys earlier had said they seen a good ram in this area. Straight out feeding. Yeah, 
by the pilot and not quite finding what we're after. And lo and behold, we spot a lone ram laying just over the top of this hill and he's going to be lying below us towards the valley. We thought while we're heading in for lunch, we'll quickly give it a go and see what he looks like. You never know, we might get lucky, otherwise we'll head in for lunch. We've had two busts this morning. The Impala giving us a good hiding, but uh, that was the first real good ram. That's that a nice ram, very good. nice ram. Uh, what we will do is leave him. He's gone over into these valleys. I tell you what, this afternoon be worth a while come and sit up high, try and find him again. We'll head in for lunch, celebrate our wildebeest, and have a nice lunch and come and wait him out later. He'll be somewhere here. We'll find him. ridges and I'm going to try and sit up here quietly out the wind and see if sooner or later he should feed out onto one of these banks and we can try and get onto him for. So what I want us to do is low as we can and out of the wind let's scoot into one of these bushes and we'll just sit in glass and wait it out for about an hour or so and see what comes. Patience, eh? Yeah. Patience, patience, oh my patience. We've been lying here. Yeah? First all morning, couldn't get onto a ram. Before lunch, we were nearly onto a ram. And after lunch, we've come and got ourselves a ram. Yes, sir. Beautiful, beautiful ram. Man, what a shot. What a shot. Perfect setup. Worked just beautifully, eh? Absolutely beautiful. Here we go, good dog Flash. Good dog boy. Good dog, slowly Flash. Slowly boy. Slowly, good dog, good dog. Very nice and parlor partner. Eh? Very, very nice boy. Congratulations, whoa Flash, Thank whoa. You. Yeah, he's got a heavy neck on him. Beautiful ram, eh? Yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Remember I've been telling you all, basically the last two, three days, we've been seeing a bunch of Impala, and a bunch of Impala have that diamond shape, and I said he must be open or he must yeah. be flaring, tipping out at the top. And this obviously, your beautiful ram, he's got secondary growth. Nice tips, straight up. So very nice. He's got a nice big body on him. Nice mature animal and he sure was sneaky. Yeah. And, and, and you can absolutely get Pin point accuracy. So once again, a wonderful, wonderful shot and a, a great experience. Lying up there waiting and yes. finally he came out. Our patience was rewarded. I was a little worried about the wind speed and the distance side, and I was kind of worried, but it all worked out. Yeah, worked out beautifully. Really a magnificent animal. Congratulations. Thank you. Very nice.
on the plains this morning, Paul, having spent uh, this afternoon getting a great impala. Um, this morning we back up and try and find ourselves a nice place. But so the shots are going to be a bit longer, uh, but makes for a completely different setup. Obviously not as much cover, but we should see a bunch of animals. The, the one all the way on the left, the very last one. Good, good partner. Down. <laughs> hey, morning. Hey, we've crawled, we've been on our butts, we've been on our knees, we've been on our stomachs, we've run, we've walked, we've hiked, and uh, I don't think either of us were expect was expecting that with the blast back this right, morning, but right. yeah from one setup to the next, and it's just as if this weather's got the game uncertain, there's rain blowing in, th then there's nothing, and the wildebeest are not happy, and the blessed fuck most certainly have not been happy yet. Oh, to finally get lucky, great shot, and look at this. The rest don't even know we were here, and here they come right to us. <laughs> well, Paul, well, this one's not hard to miss out in the plains, yeah? Ooh, he's an old, old ram, oh man. Old, old, old ram. A warrior of a ram. Woo. Very nice, partner. Thanks. Great shot. A very, very long morning after Bless yes. Buck. It feels like we, we, we've really put in a good effort. But you've got yourself an old, old Bless Buck. I mean, he's worn right down already. Yeah, Look there. Yeah. Right down. But a very, very nice old Bless Buck to take. Absolutely perfect. His colours, he shines purple in this light. Yeah. Um, and I asked you, put it on that tip of that shoulder. Feel there, where's your bullet? Yeah. Perfect. So you went right through the gearbox and got yourself a nice old bless back. Love it. Yeah, that's what you're talking about. So guys, um, funny enough, when we first moved here, we were trying to figure out what ways um, our company can help the community around here. And um, we, were, we were battling and we were thinking about, you know, uh, helping with the clinic and stuff like that. And um, we didn't even know about this place and we drove past it on a, on a daily basis. And um, we thought it was, because this was actually an old prison. Uh, these round buildings you see are the old cells where they kept the prisoners. And one of our staff members' grandchildren actually went there and he's like, well, what about, what about Carlisle Bridge School? So I was, I was like, where, where, where's Carlisle Bridge School? We didn't even know. And uh, we got the, uh, the number of the headmistress here and we came, we started a meeting in that bottom round house there, myself and Paul. And we were completely shocked to see the state of this little farm school was in. I mean, they had no water, no running water. They had no electricity, no power, no lights. I mean, the kids were sharing pencils that were shorter than your finger, you know. It was, 
it's completely absurd about how it could have let to get so bad. And I mean, we spoke to the teachers, and I mean, just to hear the sadness on their voice. I mean, the pupils weren't. I mean, they were probably getting about a 60% um, pupil rate every every day. The rest of them were just staying at home because, I mean, they weren't excited to come to school, and yeah. I don't blame them. I mean, they had they were grossly understaffed and barely any. The textbooks, I mean, they were short textbooks and everything. So we slowly started getting in, and we first thing we kind of cemented was water. So we drilled a, a bigger well over there, mm -hmm. pumps up, they got water now, and then we fixed all their gutter systems and put tanks up so they got nice drinking water. And then we did the, the solar panels. We put all the solar panels up with the batteries, and it runs the whole school now. They've even got what next? And they really love their soccer i mean soccer is the, the number one sport around here yeah? and for the girls it's netball so we decided that we we're gonna they were playing on ground that was worse than this this has even been raked since we were last year so we built this nice area here yeah? and um, we've got clay here yeah? so before match days we actually bring a roller and we roll this clay so it's nice and smooth over here yeah? and then they play here yeah? and the, we, we paint the lines with lime and then we've got netball across and soccer back and forth like this now and then in about two weeks time they, we've got a, a day where another farm's coming and we're having a nice sports day yeah yeah, yeah. and um, they were complaining about in the summertime there this so this was the original garage for the for the police vehicles and that behind us here and this is their main classrooms and they're complaining in the summer it was getting very hot in the winter very cold so we kind of we built them a nice big cement uh, brick building there which is nice and cool and um, we've actually at the moment we just need to finish up the floor but um, we're planning on putting a divider in the middle so it can be two classrooms and you can open that up into a big hall and you can have nice big assemblies. and crest this hill. Doesn't even know we are. We already waiting for it, okay? So I want to set up the main thing that we sit dead still. No movement in the shade. When it comes to gun this we're on the stick already. Because we're getting that ostrich head will be much higher. 
So before we can see his body, he'll be able to see us. Okay, he'll be walking in the stream in the chest. Okay, right here. I want you to be as comfortable as you can, sir. Say they're going to come up to the right okay. of the green wall shirt. Okay. 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 in front of it. And go. Yo, just wind drifts too much. So that is uh, so far 2-0 to the ostriches. <laughs> Good shot. Good shot. Good shot. You hear that? Finally got him there. Well, here's your bird, Kim. Beautiful shot. 350 yards, and like we've come to see, it has been a busy, busy day yesterday trying to get onto them. But finally, this morning, the early bird caught the biggest worm. In this case, you caught the biggest bird. <laughs> but our plan worked beautifully this morning. Absolutely beautifully. So, a very good shot once again, oh, ma'am. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. A nice bird and another bucket list experience. Yes. Very, very nice. So that is take one. That's not really how it happened. Watch this. We've been hunting ostriches for days. We've hunted them far and we've hunted them close. Now that's a bird. And that was a hunt. And that's a wrap. We'll see you next time.